Hey guys, Engineering Vlog here, and here I'm going to start with my episode number one. And right now, I'm I am actually in Japan, and where I'm from Hawaii, but this was a good opportunity for me to s go abroad to study engineering, and this is what I've done for my past summer. And this summer, I've been able to go to one of the universities in Japan, study there, and sort of learn the language along with learning how they do electrical engineering here in Japan. So the university that I went to was a university called Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology, but in Japanese of course it's called no kodai. Uh, the no part is the kanji for agriculture and ko in kogaku in Japanese is engineering. So what I specifically, what department I specifically was in was Denki Kogaku, which is, which translates loosely to electrical engineering. And that's the department that I spent the past month and a half or so in. And while I was there, I got to research or sort of do work on uh, Diana Green's equations and how I can, um, I can see the charge distribution over a surface when uh, when waves are propagating through a open uh, through a a free space medium, and you know as a up and coming engineer as an aspiring engineer going through his undergraduate courses, this was a very good opportunity for me to see how upper level engineers engineering students are how they're doing conducting their research how they're presenting their work all. Albeit it was in Japanese, you know, I started to learn Japanese and I could see where I could see where the relationships between American engineering and Japanese engineering really come to life because math, you know, is a universal, universal tool in communication with amongst all the languages. And, you know, as much as I enjoyed my time here in terms of engineering, you know, there was a lot more things culturally that I got to enjoy, especially because as a Asian, you know, I love to see different Japanese culture or different Asian cultures. So Japan is no, no, no exception. And with that, you know, I got to learn Japanese. I spent about two or three years in high school learning Japanese. So coming to Japan was a good way for me to get my Japanese level better and to talk to people in their native language and hear it in the native language whether I like it or not. So overall, you know, I would say that this was a very good opportunity and, you know, but as much as I enjoyed my time here, you know, I need to go back to Hawaii, you know, make sure I get my everything settled so that when the, the new school year starts and we're ready to start studying engineering again you know i get i get the i can refocus and plan to go to reach my goals for the next summer and f until i graduate so until then you know this was a good opportunity but i'm ready to go back peace